Tony Phil predicted a longer winter, but the next season has arrived early, and that's of course pothole season. Yeah, a mild winter and seemingly warmer start to February means the pavement is starting to give way. Mar McDonald is live in Chevy Township tonight, and already M59 is looking a mess. It sure is, Kimberly. Here's the deal. We reached out to everybody on our Local 4 Facebook page tonight asking, tell us where you think the worst potholes are in the area. And overwhelmingly, people said, Hall Road. Hold on to your dental work or anything else that could be loose. It's that time of year again. It's pretty bad. I, I take Hall Road every day to get to work and uh, coming home and it's just every day I'm just constantly swerving my vehicle, trying not to hit everybody else. It's pretty pitted on the whole stretch between Mound and Garfield, and right now the changing weather means some of the patches are starting to crumble. I feel like some of the work that, you know, it appears that they're fixing them, they're really not. Which means plenty of people are ending up here. Bell Tire in Royal Oak has been slammed. We've been seeing a lot of uh, cracked rims, as you can see right here. Whenever you actually come up on the pothole, uh, you want to slow down. Don't actually continue to go at the uh, uh, fast speed uh, as you actually are starting to go over it. <laughs> Uh, start to accelerate a little bit. That way you avoid getting a crack in the rim. And cracked rims are expensive and it can do a real number on your alignment. And a word of advice from the professionals, any pothole, no matter how big or small, can crack a rim if you hit it just right. And if your sensors come on, where you feel something's not right? Pull over to the side, call up your roadside assistance, uh, have someone come on over, put on the spare, because the last thing you want to do is drive on it and, and possibly have to pay $200 for a new tire. Back here live, you know, a lot of people automatically think MDOT when they see potholes, but the reality is MDOT is only responsible for state roads. MDOT does have a website where you can go and report potholes, but most local communities do as well. So if it's not a state road, time to call your local public works. We are in Shelby Township tonight along the pitted Hall Road. I'm Mara McDonald, Local 4.